Korean American Kenneth Bay has opened up on the torment he suffered during his imprisonment in North Korea. Giving his first live interview since his release around 18 months ago, Bay said he was thankful and grateful for the people involved in trying to get him home. Ho oh, Seong has the details. 735 days of hell. Forced to do back-breaking labor during the day and locked up in a North Korean prison cell at night. Kenneth Per was the longest-held American imprisoned in North Korea since the Korean War. Mr. Per finally broke his silence on his roughly two years in captivity on Monday during an interview with CNN. After moving to China in 2005, Per had been running a business that specialized in tours of North Korea. It wasn't until 2013, while on tour in the North, that he was arrested and found guilty of unspecified hostile acts against the regime. His sentence was 15 years with hard labor. Per recounted how he was forced to toil at a labor camp from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., working on the field, carrying rocks and shoveling coal. His strength failing him, Per lost more than 25 kilograms. He said the verbal abuse was almost as bad as the physical pain. Per recalled how one official taunted him, saying the U.S. had forgotten about him and that he would be stuck in the North until he was 60. What kept her going was his Christian faith. He said it enabled him to hold out hope and adjust to his everyday reality. His miracle came true in November 2014. A senior U.S. envoy visited Pyongyang, carrying a letter from President Obama. Shortly afterwards, Per was released along with another American detainee, Matthew Todd Miller. Reflecting on his imprisonment, Per says he holds no resentment. He even thanked former basketball star Dennis Rodman, who provoked widespread anger by suggesting Per had done something to deserve his punishment. Per said the outburst drew greater attention to his detention, serving as a catalyst for his release. Per's memoir, titled Not Forgotten, is scheduled to hit bookstores this week. Oh Young, Arirang News.